Here we're making monthly deposits of $600 into an account earning 4.5% interest annually. So because we're making monthly deposits, multiple deposits into the account, this is a savings annuity, which has a bit more moving parts than the compound interest situations. So let's figure out how to put this into Excel. So over in our table in Excel, we can at least fill out the, the payment, which is the $600. And now for the interest gained, the 4.5% is an annual interest rate. However, the interest gained happens every month. So we need to figure out what is the monthly interest rate. So we have to take the annual interest rate, 4.5%, and divide it into twelfths or into months. So let's do that into Excel. We're going to do an equation. We type equals, take our annual interest rate, which is 4.5% or 0 0.045 and divide it by 12. And we get the monthly interest rate is 0 0.00375. So that's how much interest we get each month based on the previous month's balance. So in the first month, we actually don't get any interest because we don't have a previous month's balance or the previous month's balance is zero. So let's say our interest gain for that first month is zero. And then the balance, all we've done is put in that $600. So the balance for the first month is just $600. Now the second month is where we start taking into account the interest gained. The payment's always going to be $600. That is our monthly payment no matter what. And so now our interest gained is based on the previous month's balance. So we get the 0 0.00375 interest rate on the previous month's balance. So let's type that into Excel. So we type equals. Now I don't want to type the entire number 0 0.00375 into the equation. So we can just use the cell as a reference, which is F2. And we multiply by the previous month's balance, which is the $600, or we use the cell reference D2. Hit enter. That's how much interest we get in the first or in the second month. And then now the balance amount is the previous month's balance, so how much we had last month, which is D2. And we're adding on to that the payment amount, the deposit that we just put in, which is the $600. So let's say B3 plus the interest gained this month, which is the $2.25 or the C3. We hit enter, and that is our new balance. We added $600 this month into the account, that was our deposit, and we added the $2.25, that was the interest. So now we want to do this for 72 months because we're doing this for six years. Six times 12 is 72. So we don't want to type this 72 times. Let's fill in, starting with the months. Let's highlight with a thick white cross. You just click and drag. And then we want to fill drag with the thin black cross with the, in the bottom right corner. Click and drag until we see that number on the right get to 72. Now we have to scroll down the screen a little bit. And 72 right there. So we're going for 72 months. Scroll back up. And we want to fill in the rest of these cells. So remember, we can just double click the little green box because we have the cells already filled in on the left hand side and Excel will just fill in all those. The month, the monthly payment doesn't change at all. It's always going to be $600. And then we can drag fill all of these. What we can do is we can highlight. So with the thick white cross, click and drag and then let go these two cells here. And these are both formulas. And then when we double click, we see it fills all the way in. However, there's a problem. These are all zero on the interest gain. So let's see why that is happening. If we double click on this cell here, we can see it's using cell F3, where we just want to use cell F2. So we can tell Excel to stay on cell F2 using the dollar signs. So let's redo this original equation here. So double click to edit it. So F2 here, what we want to do is we want to put a dollar sign in front of that F and a dollar sign in front of the two. And that tells Excel to stay on that cell. So we hit enter. And now we can try to drag fill this again. So just double click the little green box. 
and we can see it, it does all fill in. So if you double click this one over here, it's still using cell F2 and it's also using cell D70. So we hit enter and now we have everything all filled in. However, let's make this look nice in the context of this problem. Let's highlight with a thick white cross. We have to drag a little bit, highlight all these and we want to turn it into money. So it looks a little bit nicer. Go to the number category up here in the home tab click the general drop down and click currency. Now everything is in money and we can see how much interest we're gaining each month and what the balance is in this account each month.